I want to speak about my experiences on my seven day fast. It was actually two to three hours from seven days. But let's say to make it really easy, instead of saying <laughs> six days and 23 hours or no, 22 hours or 21 hours. Let's say seven days. So many people fast for different reasons. Now, the fast that I went on, I did not eat or drink anything. Now, some people may eat or drink something. I don't know anything about a fast like that. I know that people say or they speak about the Daniel's fast, but I don't know if the fast that I know is no eating or drinking. So some people fast, I know in the Bible, it speaks about fasting to cast out stronger demons. So let's say that you know you have demons within you and you are having a very difficult time casting out the demons within yourself. What you can do is go on a fast and it is going to make you a lot stronger in God so you can get rid of that demon within you or in another person. All power comes from God. So when you fast, I don't know for how long or how long God gives you that extra power, but you are able to do things or do, you are more effective, yes when you are fasting and obeying God. So that is one reason why people fast, to cast out demons. Or, yes, either in yourself or in other people. Some people may have different types of issues where they have a lust issue or something like that where they need to fast to cast out those demons within them. Make sense? So with me, I fasted because a person told me that I should fast. So I went on the seven day fast now, I am not going to talk about the bad things and stuff like that because there is no point to. But let me say this. Supernatural things were happening when I was on that fast. And after supernatural things were happening when I got off of the fast as well. Let's say that on a scale one through 10, let's say that one as being the lowest and 10 as being the highest, let's say that you are operating within God or you are able, let's say that you are operating within God on a level two or three. Now, when you fast, you are granted more power. Like I said, I don't know for how long. For instance, myself, when I would pray and read, 
supernatural things would happen, but when I would fast, when I went on that fast, and when I prayed and read, I was able to see more and I was able to experience more as well, whether it was demonic or of God. So pretty much fasting, it is going to give you more power from God. I don't know the technical word for it, but let's make it simple. It is going to give you more power. So if you are constantly sinning and you want to stop sinning, hey, fast. Fast, obey, and while you are fasting, read the Bible and pray. I'm telling you. Yes, when you fast, you may get hungry, yes. You may get tired, yes. You may be very weak, yes. I know for myself, when I was on that fast, and on the last day, it took so much strength to walk. <laughs> and it took me about two or three days to get back eating right. And my body was acting really strangely. Like, I am not going to say what it was, but it was really weird. Seven days. Now, I know that there may be some people who may have fasted for two weeks, three weeks, so on and so on. But fasting is good for you. Kevin, you know, I heard that if you don't drink water, blah, 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 blah. Look, you are not going to understand things of the spirit when you are thinking in the way of things of this earth. When you are taking knowledge of this earth, the surface knowledge of this earth, you can't use logic of this earth with things of the spirit because it is not going to make sense. You have to do things in faith. And while I was on that fast, I saw things that I never saw before. <laughs> I'm serious now. I saw things. Now, I'm, I was able to see certain things, but on that fast, man, <laughs> I saw some things that would really shock you. Not going to say what I saw. I believe I did in one of my videos, but I am not going to say it right now. Well, I guess I can say one thing, I guess, right? <laughs> Now, after the fast, I don't know if it was the eighth day or ninth day, you know, I stopped after seven days or six days and 22 hours, if you want to say that. So seven days, I believe on the eighth or the ninth day, I don't know what I was doing. I was either praying. Yes, I don't know. I think I was praying or doing something. I had my eyes open and I was praying. And I am not trying to scare anyone or freak you out. We have to know that we are in a spiritual war. But anyways, I was praying and I had my head straight, looking forward, and praying to God, telling him about my day and stuff like that. After I got done, I looked to my right. And for a split second, 
Oh, my Lord. Ah, uh, for a split second, I saw this very, very, very extremely dark face. Like, say that I am right here. His face is like this close to me, man. <laughs> I am not lying to you. And that caught me off guard. And I'm thinking... What is going on? <laughs> I never saw that before. Never. That face was as clear as day. As clear as I would be able to see you if you was over here now. Like I said, I am not saying this to scare you or to put you in fear and stuff like that. But what I am trying to say that this is not a game. We are at war. So while you are having sex before a marriage and watching porn and smoking your weed and doing drugs and stuff like that, you have to know that those demons are around. They are looking for an opening to intervene with your life. And I really did not start to learn about demons and stuff until I gave my life to God. And I am seeing more and more how real they actually are. The reason why you may not know as much or whatever, because you are still in sin. Unless you are a witch or something, then you know about demons. But if you are not a witch or anything like that, then you don't know too much or have seen too much. So, give your life to God now while you still have the chance. Because you don't know when you are going to die. And when you die, that's it. So if you have lived a sinful life, those demons that have influenced you to sin, hey, you are going with them. There is no more repentance after you die. Your parents, your family cannot pray for you or their prayers are not going to work for you after you die. There is no purgatory. There is no waiting place there is heaven and hell. Once you die, you are going to either place. Depending on how you lived your life. Like I said, the closer I get to God, the more he opens me up to particular things. Things that are shocking. I could speak to you maybe for an hour or so around an, an hour and tell you the things that I have experienced. Crazy stuff. But, you know, there are some things you should not say, though. So, I pray that this makes sense. Fast! I am telling you, go on a fast. No eating or drinking anything for a particular time period. What you should do, perhaps, if this is your first time, start with a day. Then two days, then three days. Try to do as much as possible. To be quite honest with you, I was aiming for seven days, but I really wanted to do more than seven days. But at that time period, certain things were happening. And it was really wild. But anyways, I was trying to aim perhaps for nine or ten days. And I believed I could have done it, but like I said, <laughs> some crazy things were happening. And to go so far in it and not go as far as I wanted, 
it can be upsetting. But anyways, go on a fast. This is what you need. God bless.